Hi there, I'm Jolene Brown, and I'm so excited that finally the soil temperatures have warmed enough that I could do the beginning plantings in my garden here in eastern Iowa. But as I was putting those plants and those seeds into the ground, I was thinking about that very important Bible verse that reads, You reap what you sow. And then I started laughing, because sometimes I know that planting and sowing is the easy part. It's all the thinning and the weeding and the watering and the mulching and the harvesting that comes thereafter that requires a lot of time and care. Well, the same is true when it comes to working in a family business. In a recent phone call, a majority owner and leader of the farm's family business gave me a call. He was lamenting about the attitude and the work ethic of his adult children who he had brought into the business. And believe me, he had a long laundry list of concerns. All the way from, well, oh, they just don't show up on time, or, you know, they like to quit early. Heaven forbid we ask them to work on a weekend. Jolene, they don't put the tools back. They don't even care about the equipment. And what bothered him most of all is how they disrespected the other non-family employees, those who had worked there much longer than they had. He said, I'm at my wit's end. What do I do? And so I asked him, well, do you want to correct this, this problem? Do you want to change the environment? Because if so, I must tell you that there's bad news and there's good news. The bad news is, since you're the leader of this business, you're the problem. And the good news is, since you're the leader of the business, you are also the solution. And so I'm going to tell you four things that I think you need to do right now if you want to correct the problem. I call them the four C's. The first is, you had better be very clear about what the standards are in the business because people perform to the lowest standard you tolerate. So what is acceptable? You must give them examples of when their behavior was not acceptable and what you ins expect instead. You must make sure that they understand the, the standards. Second of all, you must give them a choice. You must say, now that you know very clearly and you've told me you understood what the standards are, do you want to continue working here or would you rather work someplace else? And then the third C is you must be very consistent. You must be willing to make sure these standards are met, just, not just when it is convenient for you or when you have a lot of time on your hands or on the evaluation day. You must be consistent throughout, and this must be not just for your children who are working there, but for all employees and especially you as the leader. And the last one is, what are the consequences? If these standards are breached, what will be the result? Because it's not just enough to plant, to hire the people. If you are the leader, you must also tend the garden. And what I know is that your work, just as mine, has just begun.